So today I'm gonna to give you some things to look out for on your car to just kind of periodically check that'll in the future save you money so you can catch problems before they become really expensive. Check your tire wear by running your hand along the tire like this forward and back. And if you feel any areas where it feels really unsmooth or rigid, you need to be rotating your tires more, checking your tire pressures. So this car is pretty much brand new, but you want to stay on top of this. Every 500,000, 1,500 miles, run your hands along here, and if you feel a bunch of uneven tread, you need to be rotating your tires more often. On these tires, on a much older Honda Civic, you can see there's a lot of cracking. So you can see that these tires are obviously old. That's not a good sign. There's still some tread left, but if you're going to go on a long road trip or something, you would maybe want to replace these tires first or be sure you had a spare. Check your battery connections. Grab them. Try to wiggle them. See, that one's a tiny bit loose. That's always a good thing. Check for uh, corrosion. Take them off. Clean them with some baking soda. Keep your eyes on these. If these get really dirty, you're going to have problems starting potentially. You can run your fingernail up the rotor and it shouldn't have any kind of gouges missing from it. Then what you can also do is while you're driving, step on the brakes, and if you feel the steering wheel shake while you're braking, then your brake rotors are warped. So check your oil, pull it out, wipe it, check to make sure it's in the cross hatches. Um, also check your coolant, make sure it's not hot when you're taking the lid off. Make sure it's filled up, use distilled water, make sure the cap goes back on tight. If you don't like getting pulled over, have uh, someone check your brake lights for you and you don't forget your license plate lights. Know how to check your suspension by pushing down on it and checking the rebound. You don't want the car to bounce around a ton. So you can check all four struts that same way or suspension. If you feel the car bouncing around, that's a good way to check. So you guys, you might be asking yourself, how is this actually gonna end up saving me money? If you catch these problems before they become bigger issues, then you will for sure save money. You'll have more time in advance to order parts so you don't have to get ripped off at your local parts store. You can spot uh, bad suspension before it eats through tires. You can tell when you need to rotate your tires so they last as long as they possibly can. You can kind of be more in tune with your engine. And what's that gonna enable you to do is you're gonna be able to hear when issues become um, apparent in the sound of your engine and, and just have kind of a deeper understanding of how cars work. So I encourage all of you, if you're just getting into car repair, do-it-yourself stuff, uh, research as much as you can about your car, common issues, problems, and uh, anything that you think is going wrong. Um, check out YouTube, check out videos, see if there's something you can do, try to catch it early. You don't know how much money I've seen people waste because they uh, heard their brake squeal and didn't do anything about it till it chewed through their rotors or the caliper piston shot out or whatever. So worst case scenario is you get stuck on the side of the road or you're in some unsafe position all because you didn't really know what you were doing. Um, hopefully this video helped you out. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll be posting other videos too. Thanks a bunch. Uh, thumbs up, you guys. Keep it chill.